Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the United States Air Force Band and their inter-service jazz ensemble. Wow, what an amazing opening. Thanks so much to the United States Air Force Band for all your support and everything that you do. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Los Angeles Film School's 12th annual Salute to Veterans in Entertainment. My name is Heather Hope. I'm a news reporter for the CBS and CW TV stations in San Diego. It is my incredible honor to be your host tonight as we celebrate and pay tribute to our veteran and military community. When we think of our country's service members, what comes to mind? For me, I think of words like valor, courage, answering the call of duty, unity, in addition to that, sacrifice. Tonight, you'll see a celebration of just that. But before we begin, and out of respect for our recent fallen soldiers and those who are no longer with us, I'd like to take a moment of silence.
Thank you. We are forever grateful to you, and we send positivity, light, and peace to your loved ones. Now tonight, we shine a light on the extraordinary, valiant, and brave individuals who have served in the military from all over the world. But we especially want to recognize the LA Film School military students, alumni, staff, and faculty, as well as their creative accomplishments. Earlier, I posed the question, what do you think of when you think of our country's service members? But now I'd like to ask another question. What does the word unity mean to you? As you'll see this evening, tonight's theme is centered around unifying and coming together to make a difference. I encourage you to let us know and stay active in the chats so that we can continue to spread positivity throughout the event. With that said, we got a spectacular program lined up for you all. You'll hear from the president of the Los Angeles Film School, Tammy Elliott. You'll learn about the students' aspirations and dreams. We'll be inspired by the beautiful words of motivational speaker, Army Veteran Staff Sergeant Clay King. You'll meet the school's military benefits department. And finally, you'll see an impressive showcase of some insanely talented alumni. Oh, and did I mention the performances? Without further ado, to kick off tonight's annual salute, it is my great pleasure to introduce the James Monroe High School Color Guard Team at the JROTC Battalion event and the United States Air Force Band. This is the presenting of the colors and the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the president of the Los Angeles Film School, Tammy Elliott. Hello, everyone. It is my privilege to be here with you this evening. I'm Tammy Elliott, president of the Los Angeles Film School, and thank you for joining this extension of Veterans Day, our 12th annual salute. We are proud to continue our Los Angeles Film School tradition of annual salute, which is a collective made up of aspiring students, inspiring alumni, and the good people who bring it all together, our staff and faculty. As some of you may know, my father served in Korea, and my brother is a very proud veteran of the Marines. Of all the missions that one could pursue, intentionally choosing the mission to serve and protect our country and the citizens within it 
is choosing the higher road, the more difficult and challenging road, and the road that will require sacrifice. And for the choice that you made, we are profoundly grateful. When thinking about these past two years with much time spent alone, I am reminded every day of the power that is held within the collective. This collective can take on many different shapes and sizes. It it can look like a family, a team, a deep and abiding friendship, a production crew, or a division of the armed forces. There is something very special about a group of humans aligned with the same mission, working together and walking side by side. I see that something special in you. I understand the brothers and sisters that you served with because one of them was my brother. And the unit that you became was greater than anyone could have built alone. I also see something special here and now as you work alongside your classmates in planning and production, producing music, crafting a story, bringing art to life, creating together your dream will become greater too. If there's any group on the face of the planet that understands the value of a unified collective, it is you. Your experiences, your courage, and your expertise may not only change your life, but it may indeed change others too. Tonight, I hope that you hear with your ears and with your heart, the message of love, gratitude, and pride that we all have for you, you play an important role of the Los Angeles Film School Collective, and we are a better place because you are part of us. Now, enjoy the celebration. Thank you, Tammy, for those outstanding words. There's nothing more beautiful than the support of a community that believes in you and one that is willing to help and uplift you. Up next, we have a meaningful performance that reflects exactly that. Here to perform this rendition of Lean On Me is recording artist, Daliam. So before I get started, I just wanna say to all the veterans, thank you for your sacrifice and your service. Without you guys, we wouldn't be protected and we love and appreciate you guys for that. I'm gonna be doing my rendition of Lean On Me by Bill Withers. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, I am gonna need a little bit of participation from you guys, so if you could just snap along with me or sing along with me if you want, if you feel good. And uh, without further ado, here we go. Sometimes in our lives we all have pain, we all have sorrow, but if we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow. Lean on me. When you're not strong and I'll be your friend, I'll help you carry on for it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to lean on. So please. Swallow your pride If I have things You need to borrow for No one can feel Those of your needs That you won't let show So just call on me brother 
When you need a hand, we all need somebody to lean on. I just might have a problem that you'll understand. We all need somebody to lean on. Lean on me. When you're not strong and I'll be your friend, I'll help you carry on. Cause for it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to lean on. So just call on me, brother. If you need a hand, we all need somebody to lean on. I just might have a problem that you'll understand. We all need somebody to lean on. So if you have a load you have to bear that you can't carry I'm right up the road and, and I'll share the load if you just call me so won't you call me oh call me if you need me just call me anytime just call me i'll be there if you call me won't you call me anytime won't you call me won't you call What a stunning performance. Isn't he so talented? Words have power. They connect us, convey important messages, and they spread kindness with just a single sentence. As you'll see with our next guest, words can inspire you to make a difference. Now I'd like to introduce someone who was gracious enough to be with us this evening. It is a tremendous honor to welcome our guest speaker, Army Veteran Staff Sergeant Clay King. My name is Clay King, and I'm extremely excited about this opportunity to speak to such wonderful individuals. Uh, the LA Film School uh, seems to be doing tremendous work, and that's because of tremendous people like yourselves. On a day like today, when we honor veterans who have made the decision that if it comes to it, they're willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. I can't thank you enough for your service. I can't thank you enough for your willingness to preserve a way of life that is so meaningful and valuable to all of us. And we do appreciate each and every one of you. Now, I'm really excited about today and the opportunity to share a word uh, on uh, unity as well as creativity. And when I think about unity and creativity, what I'd like to say to you, what I'd like to say to those who are listening to my voice is that in the beginning is your word. We've been told through the ages that your word has an impact on your experience of reality. But I wanna take just a moment to say that your word is way more than just the sound that comes out of your mouth. Your words come from your thoughts. The way that you think produces the words that you say. And what comes from your word is actually coming from your thinking. And if your thoughts had a source, that source would be love. 
So in essence, your thoughts produce your words, but your thoughts come from love. And the love that is producing what comes from your thought is what I want to talk about, because that's the basis of it all. The reason that someone would be willing to sacrifice their own life for the, for the preservation of a way of life for the ones that they love. It's all rooted in love. Everything springs from love. And those things that exist in our reality are an expression of the thoughts that came from the love that produced them. And what's unique about this situation that we're dealing with right now is the fact that I'm able to speak to those who are a creative force in the world. They are create you guys that 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 attend the uh, Los Angeles Film School are producing the things and the reality that we will each experience through your creativity that comes from the source which we mentioned is love. So what's happening is is that you're creating love through your work. You're creating love through your expression of art. You're creating an expression of love through the films that you make. You're creating a, an expression of love through all that you do. And what's so important about that is that you, like none other, recognize the power of your thought, the power of your creativity. You recognize the power of the unity that comes from the expression of diversity in each and every one of you and your individual roles in creativity that produce a finished product for each of us to enjoy and enhance the quality of the experience of our life. And we thank you for what you do, but we also thank you for your recognition of the importance of the creativity that you use to produce the product that you produce. So what I wanna to say to you today in, 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 the, in, in the short few minutes that, that I will be sharing with you is that I wanna thank you for recognizing that love is really the force that combines and unites us all. Love is really the platform in which you create from. I wanna thank you for recognizing and being willing to be a full individual expression of your ever evolving awareness of the creativity that exists within you through the work that you do and then being willing to unite with others who are doing the same to produce a world of entertainment that enhances the quality of life for all of us. So I just wanted to take a moment and just thank you for that. I wanna thank you for your service. I wanna thank you for your creativity. I wanna thank you for sharing the love that each of us are, but you are expressing it in a way that each of us gets to enjoy. So your unity in the love that produces it all, your willingness to become aware of your full expression of your creativity as you continue to grow in awareness of what that is, is something that we all are appreciative of. And again, I wanna just say thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you, each and every one of you. I'm thankful for this event that celebrates you. And I can't wait to see how each of you change the reality of the lives that we all live. Thank you. I don't know about you, but I am inspired. Such great words from Clay. When a student becomes a member of the Los Angeles Film School, the connections that they make and the resources that they receive are invaluable. Part of these resources are made possible by the outstanding military staff team. These team members not only help students make connections, but they are sincerely dedicated and focused on helping military students transition into college life. 
I'm now proud to introduce to you members of the LA Film School military staff team. Hi, my name is Ruben Rivera, the Director of Military Benefits, and I oversee all aspects of the Military Benefits Department. Hi, my name is Elisha Hall. I'm your Military Benefits Lead. I am here to help you from start to finish. I am here to supervise our Military Benefits Advisors. Okay, my name is Christopher James. I'm the Military Certifying, or one of the Military Certifying Officials. I certify all the online, uh, you know, uh, VA be you know, benefits for the students. Hi, I'm Marlene Berriondo. I am one of the military certifying officials. I certify all on-ground students. Hi, my name is Colleen Caballero-Wolf. I'm the military benefits analyst, and I can assist with account reviews, including VA payments and refunds. Hi, my name is Angie Reyes. I am a military benefit advisor, and I help the online students with the initial application process. Hello, I'm Anthony Ortiz. I'm the military benefits advisor. We're here to help you set up your benefits and have an easy transition into your classes. We look forward to serving you. Hi, my name is Sophie Fisher, and I'm one of the online student success military advisors here at Los Angeles Film School. I'm part of the online advising team, and I'm here to assist you through your academic journey. Hi, everyone. My name is Takara Jones, but you can call me TK. I am a military academic coach in the student advising department. My responsibility here is to support you through your enrollment up until your graduation. I'm here to connect you to resources, advise you on any of your classes, issues. You can basically refer to me as your on-campus best friend. Um, I look forward to working you all and supporting you in your endeavors. If you need me, you know how to contact me, email, phone, text, I do it all. Um, I'm new, so I am looking forward to working with you all. Please feel free to make an appointment and drop in. It's nice meeting you. Goodbye. Hi, my name is Jasmine Yagubi, and I'm one of the military academic coaches here at the Los Angeles Film School. I work in the student advising department, and I give resources to students and also make schedule changes for veterans while keeping their benefits into account. I also co-facilitate veteran combos with another military academic coach and with licensed therapist, Randy Brown. Veteran combos is a meeting that is held every third Tuesday of the term at 12 p.m. where we talk about ways that veterans can adjust to civilian life. If there are any topics that you think will be helpful for you and your peers, you can feel free to contact us and we can incorporate those topics into our next meetings. I wanted to personally thank you for your service and I'm looking forward to meeting and working with you. Hello and welcome. My name is Angel Goddess and I'm an online student success military advisor here to serve, assist, and guide my current students, the prospective students, and my alumni here at the Los Angeles Film School. Today, we just wanted to take the time to honor you. You are very important to our community and you're important to our society. And I'm here to make sure that you have a lasting and wonderful student experience. Again, welcome. Tonight, we also want to acknowledge the incredible LA Film School staff and faculty who are also proud veterans. Everyone, let's give a round of applause to our military staff and faculty of the LA Film School.
And now, Entertainment Business Program Manager, Jessica Young. I'm Jessica Young. I'm the Program Manager for Campus and Online Entertainment Business Programs. But at the end of the day, I'm a veteran, and I know what a lot of you have been through, especially this past year. I want to share with you some resources that I've found to be incredibly helpful for myself, but also for other veterans in the Southern California area. One of these uh, I'm really excited to share with you, and maybe you've taken advantage of this resource already, but it's called the Veteran Peer Access Network, and it's, it's kind of called VPAN, and it's the first ever community-driven support network serving veterans and their families in the U.S., and the Veteran Peer Access Network connects county departments, nonprofits, the VA, and LA City programs. So this is huge when it comes to Southern California and having them linked up with everything around the community. They help with uh, mental health, substance misuse support, housing, workforce development and employment, healthcare, education, legal, legal services, social connection and recreation, and also anything in regards to food, childcare, transportation, financial assistance, and really anything else that you may think of. I highly encourage you to check out the link below and look into this incredible resource for you. Another one is vet centers, and these are through the VA. Vet centers are all across Southern California, and each vet center offers readjustment counseling to make a successful transition from military to civilian life or after a traumatic event experienced in the military. They offer individual, group, marriage, and family counseling, um, in addition to referrals and connections to other VA or community benefits and services. I know there's a lot of students uh, in the Southern California area. What's awesome about this resource is that you can type in your zip code and the closest vet center will show up that's next to you. I wanna go into a couple other resources that could be of great resources as far as a community for you. Uh, one of them is the American Legion Post 43. So this is located less than two miles from the Los Angeles Film School and its members have included Hollywood luminaries like Clark Gable, Charlton Heston, Mickey Rooney, Gene Autry, Ronald Reagan, Stan Lee, and more. So I highly encourage you to check out Post 43, become a member, and get plugged into this amazing community of great entertainers. Lastly, uh, as far as uh, community goes, veteran, Veterans in Media and Entertainment uh, is a great resource for all veterans in the entertainment industry specifically. So VME unites current and former members of the military working in film, television, media, gaming, music, and more. Kind of sounds like the LA Film School. So joining VME can give you access to classes, events, roundtables, and a veteran community within entertainment. So if you haven't checked out v VME, I highly encourage you to check them out, get connected, plug in with them, and see what opportunities are waiting for you. All right, this last one, I've been really hesitant to share because I have personally benefited from this resource on many occasions where I've been able to see circuses, uh, live shows like the Rolling Stones, uh, and other awesome opportunities, and that's VetTix, okay? VetTix understands that our military shoulders unique burdens of stress and sacrifice. 16.6 million veterans have served during wartime and 3.6 million veterans have service-related disabilities. So VetTix secures tickets to sporting events, concerts, performing arts, educational, and family activities across the nation. If you have not joined VetTix, I highly encourage you to plug in and get those free tickets to anything and everything all across the Los Angeles area. I hope that you uh, can take advantage of all of these resources that I've shared. If you have more questions, please feel free to reach out to me and I'd be more than happy to connect. Have a great evening. This topic of mental health is so big, it's hard to know where to start, but we have to start somewhere. And a great place to start is staying in touch with your body. It would be a big help for each of us if every single day we could take a little time, whether it's five minutes or an hour, to do something our body likes to do. And if we can remember to breathe deeply while we're doing it, 
that will make it even more calming and nourishing. There's a ton of research showing exercise helps us deal effectively with stress. A member of our veteran community, Dadosio Habib, has written a book, Memoirs in the Moment, about his coming to grips with PTSD. He writes that he found peace and a better perspective on his challenges by frequently walking three miles around a lake near his house. From the neuroscience perspective, we do our best problem solving when we do a little bit of left brain thinking, then a little bit of right brain thinking, and keep going back and forth. Most exercise activities, walking, swimming, cycling, basketball, force us to go a little left, a little right, left, right, and that stimulates our brain in the ideal way to help keep us happy and healthy. That's my contribution to the topic for today. See you around. Thank you so much, Randy. The community of the Los Angeles Film School is absolutely incredible. For students who are just getting started, many aspire to one day follow in the footsteps of successful alumni who came before them. These alumni have worked across the industry in animation, entertainment business, film and TV. Some have even worked on Oscar, Emmy, and Grammy winning projects. One thing is certain, they are always creating. And now everyone, I'm excited to highlight the wonderful LA Film School military students and alumni community. Hi, my name is Randy Ginning. I'm a retired Master Sergeant with the United States Marines. I graduated this year in digital filmmaking. Corporal Rod Chase, United States Marine Corps. I got my Associates in Film in 2015 and my Bachelor's in Computer Animation in 2018. Hi, I'm Danny Arroyo. I'm a filmmaker, actor, writer, producer, director, all of the above. Also a very happy-go-lucky geek, as you can see here. Collect comic books, love all things Marvel in DC. I proudly serve in the United States Air Force. I am a veteran. And I also graduated from the Los Angeles Film School in 2017 with a bachelor's degree right here in film production with a concentration in directing and screenwriting. I have five projects currently coming out, four films, one TV show. Uh, their titles are Day Labor, Burn Writer, Switch That Love, Nobody's Angels, and the TV show is Sangre Negra, a.k.a. Black Blood, which you can see all eight episodes in January of 2022 on Amazon Prime. Thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Have a great day.
What a phenomenal showcase. Cheers to everyone who shared their work with us. How are you all liking the salute so far? Let us know in the chats. Before we end the evening, we'd like to share a video of thanks, appreciation, and gratitude to our veterans. Here's a few words from the Los Angeles Film School community. My name is Georgina Campos, and I'm the library director of the LA Film School Library. And on behalf of the LAFS Library team, we would like to thank you for your time, uh, bravery, and sacrifice for this country. On behalf of the Military Benefits Department, we thank you for your service. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Hello, we are the Los Angeles Film School admissions team, and we want to say thank you for your service. Thank, thank you. you. On behalf of the marketing and events team, thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. On behalf of the online advising and outreach team, I would like to say thank you for your service. Thank, thank, thank you. you. On behalf of education on ground. And education leadership online. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Hey, I'm instructor Mark Netter, and I just want to add my voice to those honoring our veteran students. Thank you for your service, and thank you for all the great work you do in class. Thank you, Thank for, you your for your service. service. I would like to say happy Veterans Day to all the service people in our Los Angeles Film School community. You know, I probably say this every year, but saluting you once a year uh, certainly is not enough given how immeasurable the sacrifice is that you, as well as your families make for all of us. Um, it's thanks to your dedication and commitment to defending our country that affords us the freedoms that we enjoy and a lot of times we probably take for granted. Um, we owe you so much, and I just want you to know that you will always have uh, our admiration, our respect, and most importantly, um, our gratitude. Um, I'm humbled by your service, and on this Veterans Day and every day afterward, uh, my family and I would like to extend a very heartfelt thank you. Happy Veterans Day. Joe Byron here. First of all, of course I want to thank you for your service. I have something else I want to say, though, and that is how great the industry is to have military grads from our school in it. Think about this. When you're on a set or in a studio, A, you know the mission, you know the vision, you have a specific job to do, and you take great pride in it. You also respect and support the people around you and depend upon upon them to do the thing that they're supposed to do. You have high respect for that important chain of command. And last and most important, failure is not an option. Does that sound familiar? That's why the industry is a great place for military grads. Thank you all for all you do. Keep in touch. Hey, this is Raindrop Lopez, and I would like to send out a special, special thank you to all the veterans at the LA Film School. Thank you for your services. It's truly appreciated. I actually grew up an Army brat. My dad was in the military. So special thank you so much. Bye. My name is Denise Simpson. I'm an alumni from the Los Angeles Film School. I just want to say happy Veterans Day to all our veterans out there. You're so appreciated, and this day is for you. Thank you. And then a hero comes along With the strength to carry on And you cast your fears aside And you know you can survive So when you feel like hope is gone Look inside you and be strong And you finally see the truth that a hero lies in you. Hey, happy Veterans Day. It's Shalea Yezro here. I just want to hop on and just say happy Veterans Day to all of the veterans out there in the world, all the veterans out there, especially the veterans of LA Film School. We just appreciate you so much. And I just want to hop on here and show that appreciation. So, hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.
Wow, what an amazing night. I hope you all enjoyed the show as much as I did. It's been truly heartwarming to see everyone come together for the celebration. In just a few moments, we'll be ending the salute with a virtual fireworks show and a final performance from the United States Air Force Band. But before that, I'd like to let you know it has been my honor to be your host tonight. I hope this evening's salute encourages you to use your creativity to promote unity and radiate positivity wherever you go. Good night to you all and to our military community. Thank you for your service.